Come one, come all, to the most phenomenal, most extraordinary, most unimaginable puppet show you've ever experienced. Prepare for an astonishing adventure full of mystery, full of danger, and full of artistry, meant to astound the eye and capture the human soul. The name's Professor Gregorius T. Oswald. But my friends, and we're all friends here, call me G. Today's fantastical tale is the perilous journey of a boy named Kutoro. Welcome back to my channel, lady Welcome team. My name is Natalie, and we are going to stop. We're going to play Puppeteer with one player. Yes, please start the game. Just keep talking through me. Once upon a time, before everything went to rack and ruin, the moon realm was ruled by a beautiful goddess. But then, little bear, for whom the moon goddess had shown nothing but love stole two of his mistress's precious possessions the black moonstone and a magic pair of scissors known as calibrus after declaring himself she likes scissors king he invaded the goddess's castle smashed the white moonstone to pieces once upon a time i once upon a now this is my moon cheese so just get to the part where i sound good <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, yes, of course, <laughs> of course. Wasn't everyone so very wowed when the moon goddess was obliterated? Wasn't it just great mm. that the impressive moon bear king uh, 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 gave a piece of the white moonstone to each of his generals, screwing over the moon at large? How nice. Oh, yes, the next three years were something special. <sighs> now, where do I begin? At the beginning would be nice. Oh, oh my Even controller really well shakes. Is this scary? And intent to keep it that way. So night after night he spirited away the souls of children and locked them inside wooden coffins who were doomed to defend oh, the cool. And while tonight was no exception. It would prove to be quite exceptional. Oh, the poor dearie. Look, Ying Yang. Another day, another soul. Poor indeed. You're as bad as the tyrant. How many of these children are you planning to parade off to certain mutilation before you realize you're wasting Ooh. time? Why, one more? And then another after that. As many as it takes me to get my hands on Calibrus. <laughs> okay, so you're evil. <gasps> Hi. Meet our hapless hero, who's just blinked back to life, firmly in the Moonbear King's clutches. Kutaro. Kutaro. Your soul was summoned here at my behest. Kutaro, will you be my friend? Howls to the bitter end. <laughs> what? <gasps> what? What? What the frick is wrong with you? That's not what you do to bells, Bell. Who left his head in the mule bear king's belly? Listen, you're going to drop dead if you go without a head, and I'll be the one stuck with cleanup. Come on, let's find something else you can use a substitute head. What's rattling around in there? Use the right stick to move in and then press right to investigate. Ooh. I can't really reach. Okay. 
You're all set. We can lay down. Remember those head pots. They may be weird, but they flap around with lots of useful heads. But one little touch, okay. and they'll drop their stash. You know, a new Ooh. kid on the chopping block like you ought to have a couple of noggins at least. Can't take any chances. <sighs> uh, to investigate. There's another one. See? Just like I said. There we go. We found a spider. Ooh. Oh no. Am I not powerful enough? Oh. Quick now. Okay, if you put the last one false move, and those heads of yours will tumble right off your shoulders. If you don't grab okay. them right away, their magic will fade and no more head. So remember, if you lose your head, pick it up post haste. Okay. Ooh. I love this. Oh, and one other thing. Mune sparkles. Yes. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. I'm trying. I'm I am doing that. I just don't know what to do apparently. I'm trying to open you. There we go. Voila. These are mune sparkers. Collect one hundred. And you'll be able to magically come back to life, even if you do lose all your heads. Let's keep so looking. So you're going to the Gallipore? There! Woo. The witch's bloomers! Witch's bloomers. I love the jokes. I like it. It really feels like a play. What is that? Keep your eyes peeled for moon sparkles if you want to stay alive. Oh, that moon bear king is always angry. Oh, oh. oh look there. You oh, no. see that? Oh, that scares symbol. me. Listen, every head has a little bit of magic to it. They react to okay. places and objects that resemble them. Oh, why don't you just give it a try? Here, How do first we do that? choose the right head. Now, use the head's meow jig. Uh. Oh, if nice. Keep an eye He's like, okay, little murder. Symbols, anything could happen. <laughs> Look at that. No wonder there's Oh, so are you angry? Oh, why did you do that? It's a 3D show. In my pen. Holy moly. You'd better follow that fork. The witch doesn't take kindly to long ways. Watch that feisty fork. It's as wicked as the witch. Oh, hey, I warned you. Wasn't... Remember, don't you want me to? No more heads means no more you. What do you want me to do? Pass through that shimmering gateway. To proceed to the back of the kitchen. Oh, there's another child there. Now, make no mistake. Kutaro was not alone in his plight. The kitchen was already starved by unfortunates whom the Moon Bear King had plucked from their beds. Yeah, I know. Okay. Then can we work together? Have been charged with keeping the fickle king fed, and it was a miserably hopeless task. After all, his appetite was as vast and insatiable as his lust for power. Careful, 
There's this thing about fire and puppets yes. in the beginning. All those mute sparks. No, don't do that. You don't want to toast yourself grabbing them. No? True. Okay, so we have to wait for that. Jump. Oh, thank you. Okay, I want that last one as well. Wait. Good. What is that? Imagine being one of these and spending dusk till dawn getting kneaded and grated, peeled and parboiled, marinated, melted, minced and mashed. Or if they Oh, we can roll, I'm sorry. It's zesty, followed by a light grating. Mm, I smell something delicious. <gasps> the witch couldn't have made it. Hammerhead! Oh, that was my lash. Oh, wait. There's a spark of... Uh, there's that Ooh. head symbol again. Yeah, what do you do again? It is what we do. Oh, see how there we go. Can change the world? And I do mean that quite yes, I see. Literally. Quite literally. Ooh, no! Holy moly. The witch, in case you're wondering, was a singularly screwy sorceress by the name of Esma Potts. You'd think someone that gifted okay. with a cauldron would know a thing or two about cooking. And you'd be wrong. Ooh. Really? As for Kutaro's catty companion, name of Ying Yang, he Ooh. used to be the moon goddess's faithful feline. One might say his current mistress was oh. a step down. I'm not sure if that's a good down. thing. Oh, <gasps> well, I already had that hat. Oh, I can climb my. Okay. out for the vegetables in this kitchen the cook is a cook and oh, the squash yeah. are out to squish okay I see. Whoop. Ooh, death and spare. Yeah, we died. Where do we have to? Okay, we start here. Why did you do that? I didn't want you to jump that far. Oh. Ooh. Hello, nice old lady who's not going to eat me or kill me in any other way. You can get lost. Yeah, yeah. Open the windows. I'm drifting away from this ghastly. One, two, three. Three. What do you think? 
meowed by my cat like reflexes? No. Ah! Where is the moon goddess? I demand to know where you have taken her. Ah! Where are you? Me, you louse, how dare you? That peppy princess ought to pipe down. Are you the new boy? I suppose you want me to get yes. your soul back so you can return home. Well, not until you march those wooden legs up to the Moon Bear King's throne room and fetch me his magic scissors. You can do it. After all, you are a very special boy. Is it so? <laughs> How many very Is special you? boys are we up to now? Yeah, yeah. You can keep it company. Whoop de doo. Ah! We get to the castle. Won't this be fun? Welcome hey. to the Tower of Tribulation. But don't let a cheerful name like that see you. You never know where a head might be hiding. Head pots, dreadnoughts, parking lots. Check everywhere. They don't say get your head out of the gutter for nothing. <laughs> Good to have there we go. Where's my other head? I wanted the other head. Okay. He's like, no, 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 we're not doing that. They're hiding everywhere. Oh, run, 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 like the wind. That this is all on stage. No, no, not good. No, I, I understand. We have a spherical situation. Duck for your life before we get bowled over. <gasps> Still in one piece. Oops. Thank you. I heard someone. Ooh. Oh, that didn't went well. Okay, uh, that my head is gone. Oh, I I ran, I ran, jump, jump. Think you what really if she's right? The sun does have a burning temper. Ha! What did he do? I got his precious daughter. Sure. <laughs> 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 Sorry. 
And even if you didn't, your majesticalness is more than enough to eclipse the sun. I've prepared a very special room for you, my dear princess. So please, I insist, take a long. I see a lot of keys. Calibrus unattended for once. Kukaro, you are one lucky person. Are we though? There before our hero towered the most impressive pair of scissors you've ever seen. The Can't it cut itself loose then? But Calibrus was bound past by vile vines, the twisted offspring of the Moon Bear King's twisted magic. Kutero, meet Calibrus. Calibrus is a cut above your average scissors. He used to serve the Moon Goddess. Step forward, boy, and take your destiny now. That's scary. Don't know if you should. Now that's a shock. <coughs> I mean, an honor. <laughs> Don't you see? Calibrus has chosen you. Nice. I was he going to cut me in half? was starting to look up. After all, he was now the proud owner of a pair of enchanted scissors. Still, it wasn't all good luck. Remember, Calibrus belonged to the moon bear. Now we can protect ourselves. Well, I own it. You know it. And the boy's first challenge was to extricate himself from the booby trap he'd just set off. Rats, now this is a fine mess. You would better use Calibrus to cut there. That's the ticket. Oh, that went well. Sky got wall jumper. There we go. Nicely done, Kutan. That's how we do it. Nice. How do we do this? Oh, just like that. Okay. Yes, you know what to do. Oh, scissor like it's a just teaching wizard. us to the mechanics. Oh. This is very nice though. Okay, no. Who dares lay hand on my property? My traps! How did you get out? Wait, how did you get in? You wretch! What have you done to you my throne room? Guards! Apprehend that thing! What? Deathly and darkly, the grubs descended upon our trembling hero. But locked within each of them was the soul of a child, just as scared as him. Oh, uh, really? You see that? It's... That's it. Very heroic. I'll okay. put your head clean off your shoulders! Get caught, and you'll be grabified, just like the rest of these poor children. Guards, okay, that's what we're supposed to do, I think. Guards, 
Guards! Huh? Guards! Oh, I'll do it myself. No, you don't have to. Just stay there, you know. It was a weaver. Of all the Moonbear King's nightmarish magical creations, weavers were some of the nastiest. This was Kutaro's was it? first ever real dose of fear. But to escape the weaver, those fears would need to be conquered. You've lost your head. Yes. I suppose I'd better help you out again. Thank Remember, you. There's secrets in every nook and cranny. Yes, I know, my sweet. Okay, grab his head, please. Rogue. It doesn't stop for long enough. Oh, keep running, my one. Good. Oh, fucking finally. It is going to be another one. As the clash grew even flashier, uh. the boy snipped, sliced, and sundered with the cold realization. Can we do it? Counted on it. Lady, come on. It's really not working at all. He's not standing still for long enough. Oh, come on. I hate this head thing. Come on. Oh, I did it wrong. Come on, grab that head! Oh, grab that head! Oh, fucking finally. Is it gone? Oh, come on! I almost had them all. Souls, like the one you saw before, but cut those yeah. Free, and you can flatten this carpet for good. I was trying, okay? Oh, thank you. Success! The fell oh. was no more. With the legendary calibre, can you collect the rest? Kutaro had taken the first step of his grand adventure. Unfortunately, the next steps had to be taken at a run, as the savage king was hot on our heroes. Yes, sir. Where did that wealth go? Uh, well, he can't have gotten far, sire. He has such tiny legs. I imagine he's right around the corner. I don't want him around the corner. I want him cornered. <laughs> find a thief, or I'll find someone who can. Uh, please, sire. You 
your blood pressure. I'll take care of it. Would you like a bath? A glass of warm milk? Anything? No. Bravo, Kutro. None of the others have made it half as far. This will be music to reach his ears. Oh, man. Go to the mat. Would you prefer the grubs find you and the moon bear clean the eggs or limbs off? <laughs> Okay, this was the first act. Ah, it's saving. So yeah, we're going to leave the first episode here because this was the boss fight of the first chapter. And we're going to... Kutaro fell the frightful monster and freed the soul of every last child in the fiend's clutches. Well done, Kutaro. The souls he freed were homeward bound. Nice. Act one stolen away. Oh, curtain one. We're now going to curtain two. We are going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. A legend repair of magic My friend. But before he could start cutting along the dotted line of destiny, we'll you in the next episode. Goodbye. The rock. I want to see their head actions, yes please. It's a really cool idea. For, for a game. Uh, number one, at story found in Act 1, Curtain 1, the spider. One of countless spider babies miraculously cranked out in the Tower of Tribulation by their Darwinian champion of a mother. She keeps one of her myriad eyes on each of them. Mother knows best, after all. Sure, she occasionally mistakes one for dinner and devours it, but mother knows best. Nice. Number one head story found in Act 1, Curtain 1, The Skull. The bony noggin of some fool would divide the moon bear king. Skulls are a dime a dozen in Castle Black and don't offer much in the way of resale value. After all, we need the second skull. Unless they were Kerberos or something, but then they're likely to hound you for a third. Uh, found uh, the burger. A wayward burger in a black castle's kitchen. No one knows how it got here, got there, but a 100% beef patty, fresh tomato slice, lettuce and cheese look a million times better than the Moon Witch's usual culinary torture. Use the head action to transform the witch's sandwich into a double burger. Want some use then? The bat. A clever bat who only picks fights he can win. Back when the moon goddess was in power, he swore to defend the knight from evil. But the moment she was gone, he played as creature of the dark art and got in the tyrant's good graces. Really? So far he's betting a thousand. Crown. A bespoke di diadem that Moon King Bear had crafted after he conquered the Moon Realm. Originally, the crowns were specialized. Battle crown, dinner crown, bath time crown, emergency crown, crown in case of emergency, crown breakage, etc. Most of these were cast aside, but this one transformed into a head. Sure. Of course, why not? So this is a head secret? Okay. Uh, let's go back and then we're going to continue this in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.